the NFL on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the boys and the 49ers, and it comes your way next on Madden Football. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the so-called Silicon Valley and Levi Stadium in Santa Clara. Today, boy, what a matchup. Two NFL franchises with so much history, so much tradition, getting set to do battle here. As it'll be the Dallas Cowboys taking on the San Francisco 49ers. Up in the booth with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and kickoff straight ahead, CD. What's one thing that you're going to have your eye on? I think about what the great coaches of the past always said, the key to any ball game. Can you rush theirs and protect yours? Well, in this case, both of these teams get after the quarterbacks. I'm watching the pass rush. It's the team of the 80s versus the team of the 90s. The Niners, the Cowboys, they're underway. And no run back here, so they'll bring it out to the 25. They start the drive with Vaughn. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. Just like that, a pickup of 20 on their first play from scrimmage. The big play to start him out has him at the 45 already. Looking to throw, Prescott. It's hauled in by Brandon Cooks. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. A run with Vaughn out of the gun. And they'll get this just to the 47. One-yard gain. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. And on their first drive, the offense staying out there. They're going to go for it on fourth. They'll try and run for it. And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. Vince, first and 10. Purdy going to lead the 49ers to the line, first and 10 at their own 26. The drive begins with a run by McCaffrey. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Now you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while, because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. And he's going to have a Niners first down as he's got this up to the 40-yard line. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook. Go play action. Toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let it pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. That was well played, but that was also an example of a corner who understands his coverage, realized he had support behind him, and could be a little more aggressive in the shorter zone, and did exactly that, knocking that pass away. And he'll make it only to the 43, a gain of two. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big time? And trying to get it to Samuel, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Trayvon Diggs. And he takes this one. Back out there comes a 49ers offense ready for their second drive. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, oh, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. It's a five-yard gain, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now looming. Purdy now to throw. Eluding the pressure right. And he'll be out of bounds.
yards after getting this one across the 40. A good decision in the end to pull it and run, get some nine yards and a first. Up the gut, McCaffrey. Two yards the loss, second and 12. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through, but that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. Purdy's throw pulled in by Kittle. Look at the big fella go. And he'll be forced out of bounds all the way down inside the 20. A big play there for the Niners. 42 yards. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And he'll be stopped after a gain of only a couple down to the 15-yard line. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Flushed out right. And an off-balance throw there, and it's going to wind up incomplete. Well, the best don't mind making tough throws, but that was a real difficult one right there. Out of the pocket, trying to beat double coverage. More times than not, that's going to end up as an incomplete pass, if not worse. They'll set up the screen to McCaffrey. And they're going to lose some on this play. Being knocked back to the 18. So Purdy off and Moody on for the 49er field goal. And his kick. Case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. Second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys. Obviously not the intended goal last drive. They had to punt the football, but still they've got the lead here and now a chance to add on to that lead if they can get points on this drive. First and 10 upcoming. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive. First down. Prescott. His throw incomplete. Oh, man, for him to be that wide open and drop it. Sometimes you have just too much time on your hands, right? You end up thinking way too much, and your hands get shaky. And yes, he's a tight end, but that's a catch he should have made. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. On third down, it's Prescott. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45. Kyle Shanahan doesn't care much for that last call. So, out comes the... so the challenge there does not go their way. This will indeed remain a completed pass. On the run, it's Dowdle. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. And yeah, give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Cowboys in possession as they are looking at a second down and six coming up. They run again with Dowdle. Three yards is half of what they needed. Now can they get the other three here on third down? Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Flush to his eggs. The 49ers offense making its way back out there. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it. Way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, <laughs> that weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive in with a kick, <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. That's complete out left to Ayuk. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. 13 yards on his first catch. It's a first down as well. McCaffrey running up the middle. And he'll get what he can up the middle. Three yards, and that'll bring up second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. 
The birdies throw there, taken in by Kittle. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. The Niners on third down, just one for three thus far. They're up against a third and one situation. They'll try and pick it up with McCaffrey. And he is going to have a Niners first down as they're able to convert, albeit not by much, on third and a yard. Back to the ground on first, it's McCaffrey. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. If you're a coach, you'll absolutely take that run every time on first down because it really sets you up to go in a number of directions here on second. A second down throw for Purdy. Connects with Kittle underneath. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys 28. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. They'll give it up to McCaffrey. They'll work his way up the middle for a gain of about four, second down. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. 48 yards rushing for him now as he's carried it 13 times. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. They stay on the ground. McCaffrey again. And able to surge forward for about five yards down to the 10. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Now this time they'll throw it. Here's Purdy. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another Intercepted and at their own 28-yard line. And when a team advances as far as they did, got over the 50-yard line, don't you think that drive deserved a better ending? I think he needs to get with his coaches on the sidelines, make some immediate adjustments, and that's what you do. You don't wait. You do it from series to series because drives like that, the end with a turnover, that's multiple times they picked him off already in this opening half. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Now Prescott. And this one quickly to Lamb. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. Two minutes to play in this first half. 7-3, our score. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Prescott from the gun. That one almost intercepted, but it's incomplete. Not a good throw there, and it'll be second down. Throwing. Prescott. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. Third down at six. Prescott yet again. Yard line. Christian McCaffrey and his 49er teammates back onto the field. And I'm wondering if maybe they don't go away from him on this drive a little bit. He's, he's been great, but they haven't scored a lot of points. I think they still have to show him as a threat. Make sure he touches it a few times. But as you pointed out, Use him as a decoy a little bit and get the ball in the hands of some other people in order to put more points on the board. But he's done a really nice job of establishing them with his running. Yeah, he's established himself well. Now can they put more points up? Yeah, he's going to be out around the 45-yard line. So that changes things. Here's first and 10 all the way up at the 45. Back to throw, Purdy. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Well, the incompletion, yes, but maybe here not the worst thing in the world? No, not on first and ten. It actually gives them a chance to regroup, relax just a little bit. They huddle up, talk it over. Then they get a chance to continue their drive. Throw left side. McCaffrey's got it. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. The Niners passing game in sync now. They've got another first down. Out of the gun, Purdy. Escaping the pressure right. Man open, that's Debo Samuel. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Now second and three. 
Once more, Purdy looking to throw. And this one's incomplete. They're putting together a drive here in the final minutes of the half, but the coverage has been tight all game long, and they certainly want to keep them off the scoreboard here. Purdy on third down. Pass taken in by his big tight end. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as they'll stop the clock with 26 seconds to go until halftime. Again to the big tight end, George Kittle. And down to the 20 he'll go before heading out of bounds. This duo locked in 14 yards there and a first down. Throwing here, Purdy. And that is incomplete. So 17 seconds now on the clock here. Tight end has become a bigger and bigger part of the passing game in the NFL, but if you drop the football, that position can get swapped out with a you know, wide receiver in that spot, a running back in that spot. There are other ways they can go if you're not going to catch the ball. And that's not just his first drop, his second drop of the game. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Now Purdy. And it is caught. And the Niners are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Now here's a timeout as they're going to get it with eight seconds remaining here in the first half. Again, it's Purdy to throw it. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this defense because their coverage has been playing at a shutdown level so far. Even backed up late. They're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep them out of the end zone as the first half winds down. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. All right, Captain, it's batting down the hatches time defensively. Dodged two pass attempts to the end zone. Now what do you think they're going to try and dial up on third and goal? Well, right here at the 25. The 49er offense set to go to begin quarter number three. Well, out of the locker rooms, here they come. Their first drive of the third quarter, and Charles, they're trailing in this ball game, but we've got a tight one set up to be a very entertaining second half. And as we know, partner, in the NFL, there's trailing and there's trailing, right? Sometimes you're discouraged by how much you're down, but in this case, this is a tight ball game, so there's a sense of optimism here. I think they went in at the half and looked at their play sheet and said, these are the plays we really like. What do you say we use them to start the second half and get us going? 74 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. From the 44-yard line, here's second down and one. Again, they run again. It's McCaffrey. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there, pick up the first down. They go play action here, Purdy. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting left backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. Purdy's throw taken in by Samuel. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 41-yard line. Back to the ground attack here. It's McCaffrey. And he'll follow his blockers there all the way down to the 23-yard line. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. First down. Here's Mitchell. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Well, that's not a run that's going to make any of the highlight tapes, but they've been moving it well all game on the ground. This is another one that keeps them moving forward. And it's caught by Debo Samuel. Touchdown, San Francisco. A 20-yard touchdown. And the Niners have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half. And I tell you that running it is about as proficient. So know your team and go to your strength. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Now he is going to be stopped cold behind the line. 
line of scrimmage. Hit and drop behind the line by Dre Greenlaw. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. Here's Prescott. He's got a man complete. And they've got it well across midfield down to the 40 before it's all said and done. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield to the 40 now for first and 10. They run here with Dowdle. And he'll take this one down to about the 40. And that play stopped by Drake Jackson. Ball on the 40 now. Here's second and nine. Play fake. Here's Prescott. And his throw here is incomplete. Another attempt, another incompletion. And when I look at the scoreboard and where we are in this game, it comes to mind that they have to start getting the ball in the hands of their playmakers. Throw it to the guys that maybe can take a short pass and turn it into a long game or make people miss downfield. They've got to have points. And the guys who can put the ball in the end zone, they're the ones that need to touch the ball. On play action, Prescott. This is caught. It's close. And so close, he gets it to the one. Out of bounds right there. A very solid gain of 27. Vaughn is in. Touchdown, Dallas. Sometimes. And San Francisco gets set to go here. And their lead has evaporated in this third quarter. It's tied once more as they begin with a first and 10. And his throw is incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an outer boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. Third quarter, all tied up. This is second and ten. Shotgun handoff now to McCaffrey. Breaks the tackle. He's got room to run. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. 109 yards now for McCaffrey. It's a first down. Purdy looking to throw. The tight end Kittle has it on the left side. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. This is McCaffrey on the give. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. They created a nice sustained drive off of plays like that. A nice strong run there. It keeps them advancing the ball. Another run with McCaffrey on second down. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. And that's some good tackling there to keep him short of that yellow line. Yeah, defensively, all I'm thinking is that on that play, get me to third down. Get me into a position where I can make one more play and get my defense off the field. He's got his target. That's complete. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. So much for the run on third and one. Instead, it's a big chunk in the pass game. First down. Three quarters have come and gone. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. From the shotgun to McCaffrey. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. And tip your cap to Demarcus Lawrence. Nice play defensively. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. And he'll dump this off to his running back, McCaffrey. And he's got this inside the 10 to the 9 before he's out of bounds. This offense so far on third down, they've been very good. Five for seven thus far. This will be third and five. That'll be caught by Ayuk at the 25. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. They now trail by seven after that last touchdown here in the fourth quarter. What a big spot for this offense. See if they can cobble something together on this drive. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. A running play. It's Dowdle. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. 
Ah, uh, it's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. The one thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. A good job in coverage there. They took away his top read on the play, so he went through his progressions and ended up settling on his running back who scored on their last possession, but the coverage held. And get back to the line of scrimmage, and that will force a turnover on downs. Purdy looking to throw on first down here. Open man, that's Ronnie Bell. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. From the 41, here's second down and two. Here's McCaffrey. And that one opened up for him well as he'll take this down to the 26-yard line. 130 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. On the toss, they run wide side with McCaffrey. And across the track, into the end zone. At the 25. And now here come the Cowboys. And a drive that stalled out last time. Went for it on fourth, didn't get it. How does that translate here? I would imagine momentum's with the defense. Definitely with the defense, because anytime anyone goes for it on fourth down, that's telling you as a defense that they, you can't stop us. We don't think that you can. And when you actually do, that may put a little dent in the confidence of the offense the next time they hit the field. Yeah, we'll see if they can bring that pride to the offense this go around. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. He's letting it fly for Cooks. And unable to connect. And they turn it over. Mike McCarthy took the gamble, didn't pay off. And now possession will go over inside the 15-yard line. On the ground, McCaffrey. He's going to get four out of this as he's down to the 10-yard line. The recipe is pretty simple, I think, right? You just give your superstar the ball, continue to feed him. Yeah, don't overthink this one, right? Make sure he's touching the football, but you're also counting on his intelligence in playing the game as well. If it's not there, don't force the run. Just make sure you hang on to the football and keep the clock ticking. Here is third down and four. Purdy. Touchdown, 49ers! At the 25, the Dallas offense back out onto the field. Charles, we know that this offense is aggressive. We saw that last drive. They went for it on fourth down, didn't get it. Then they give up the touchdown. So now you feel like they really need to respond here. They certainly do, but let's face it. Sometimes when you take that risk, you understand if you fail, a little more onus goes back on your ball club to try and pick themselves back up. And this is dropped. Oh, it's incomplete. He had a big gainer in his sights, but he could not reel it in. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he'll be touched down here, but not before he does pick up the first. Throwing. Prescott. He finds his man complete. It's Ferguson. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. First down, Prescott. And it's caught. And he will be brought down with a first and goal coming up as we have come upon the two minute warning. Now, Prescott. And this ball is caught by Lamb. Touch. We knew even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one. Their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw Slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Now a timeout called for by the defense. 
as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Purdy with it on third and long. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. And sensing the momentum may be changing here a little bit, Charles. Yeah, this defense is going to get off the field quickly, and their offense got them a touchdown the last time they had the ball, so they should get another shot. Connects with Kittle under. It says they stopped him, and they did. The Niners go for it, but it doesn't work out. And it'll be a turnover on downs. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Well, the faithful in full roar here in Santa Clara. This is third down. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. And while it's probably going to take a miracle at this stage, if they come down with this one in the end zone, they've still got a fighting chance. That one, however, winds up incomplete. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have the Cowboys first down as they manage to convert, and that'll keep the drive alive. And he takes this one into the end zone. Did the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. This now a third and four. Up the gut, McCaffrey. And that play is blown up. Losing yardage back at the 